Jason Gray. Um, you guys can hear from uh, Made by Studio Jason. Um, final and the experiment today, which I'm going to do a screen recording of um, my facial designs. So I've had a lot of requests um, uh, away from Skillshare just to see my technique um, and just to go through what I've been showing on Instagram. Um, I've been doing my sort of abstract layering of images, typography, um, gradients, that kind of thing, which I really enjoy doing. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is just literally on the fly, we're going to do poster full 40 in Photoshop. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using Unsplash, um, which is a great source of uh, imagery to use. And we're literally just going to do random. So uh, I'm going to take images off, off off Unsplash and then just see what we come up with. Um, it's the weekend, so you can be creative. Um, Looking out the window, it's, it's all rain, uh, autumn, dark. So the the mood title um, brief basically for this poster is uh, it's just going to be called autumn. So um, I'm just going to do a quick search. Right, let's get it over here. Of autumn, so looking at for instant that straight away catches my attention to the colors. So we're going to have that. Should record in. There we are. I'm going to still do it in my sort of. Um, abstract star, but for the beginning, we're just going to bring in the imagery and then see what we've got to play with. So, we've got trees, look for outdoor stuff, kind of like bringing in fashion into it as well. Um, use the good thing is to not have too many layers, even though it looks quite busy. I don't have too many layers, I just use a brush to take away a lot of the imagery. So then you've got main accent points of the colours, but also the imagery behind. So there's only one image there, and then the gradient to go with it. So the key is not to put too much in, even though it looks like there's loads smacked in together. Um, that's only sort of three images. But it's just to create interest, really. It's really enjoyable to do. So one main image, two main elements there which is the imagery and the, the textures. I do like these textures, so on, on Splash, let's put texture. And then you've got the kind of, these kind of things that, looking now, this would work well for our autumn piece. So I'm literally just, Putting stuff down for the moment. So I like to do a combination of um, sort of a big main image. Then you get accents. So this is nice. Accents of um, detail, like bringing detail into it. Because a lot of the time you won't even be you won't even be seeing. Um, I don't know why it says like that. You won't even be seeing uh, a lot of the the main image, just elements from it. I think, oh, that's nice. These colors can work well. Come in a minute. And then I think we also need some sort of I like to use sort of female models um, in like an abstract way because it looks really cool. So let's just put in model winter. See what we come up with. Winter, it's summer there. That's quite cool in this. Not necessarily uh, too much going on in the background actually.
actually, no, that's quite nice. The steps, let's try that. I'll try and think of the title outdoors or um, climb. Unknown. Uh, let's think of some, bring in some typography. Type in winter text, see what we got there. Merry Christmas, maybe that's a bit too early. Stamp me. Maybe it's cold outside. Sure is. That's quite. Actually. Keep going. Winter lights. Uh, let's start playing first and then see. Actually. Oh, it might be quite nice. Newspaper. I love newspaper print. It's only nice. Um, let's try serif font. Typography. See this work. There we are. I think I've used that before, I'm not going to use it again. Um, some of these grungy stuff, that's quite a nice pattern to use. Bring in that, we'll start playing now. Got a few images, actually one more, because I'm just going to save it. Uh, do one more. Like a harder edge. Kind of like these. I've used that before. I keep looking at that. It's a really nice, vibrant colours there, but I don't want to use the same again. What about some paint to illustrate the mood? That looks quite well, maybe. Let's see what happens. Some really nice ones there. I love abstract part of it. Uh -oh. I will be having a new um, Skillshare class out soon um, for packaging, um, drinks, drinks design. Um, that's coming in within the next week or so, hopefully. Um, so keep an eye on that on my Instagram, made by Studio JQ. Um, so yeah, let's start again. This is my favourite, for my grunge style at the moment, my favourite, I don't know where I got it from unfortunately. Oh, torn paper brushes, so maybe have a look for that on, on Google, but um, it is just the best. It just takes away, I just love it, the shape of it and stuff. So, right, the background, oh it's still, it's that dark, yes. Bring that one to the top, so I'll take away a lot of this darkness. Go in about this brush just to take away the hard edges, and then you can use the images a layer on top. So that's just to show the outdoors, cold, dark. What's this one? That's the steps one. It's probably some of these. Layers here, usually like multiplies. Um, screen, is it screen? Yeah, the lighting. Let's see which one looks better. So, even though you don't know what's going on, you can still see like steps within there, which I think work really well. We'll take out some of it. Not sure on this background image in here. I'll take some of it away as well. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Let's 
the good thing about this is just playing with stars and seeing what works, what doesn't. And then when I get um, project inquiries, clients come to you wanting me to do this star, but in their brand, so elements of their brand with its type, um, icons, product, that sort of thing. So for me, this is good exercise just to play around with my style uh, and get it out there so people can see it and might want to use it. So still something quite nice about that. So what? Oh, that's not looking very awesome at the moment. Awesome. That word. That's really nice though. So it's just when you see the detail and overlap in there. So you've got you've got graffiti in there, you've got photography in there, the steps, you've got someone's painting, you've got paint marks. So that's really I really love it. This is where I'm just gonna do some some random shapes. Let's go with it. Maybe look at logs. I'm using the mouse as you can see. Because my um pen's broken. Just some random shapes there. See what we can do with them. Bring them in. So I got that blue at the top there for the for the furniture of the of the piece. So with my I'm pointing at the screen but you can't obviously see it. The poster 440 in my um Instagram address etc to try and pick out because that black doesn't work and then colour overlay it and then just I pick that blue so then there's a reference point back to back to that um, the furniture so your eye can sort of look at the, det the detail and then look at this as well if you have too much going on then it's kind of trouble but see you need those lighter colours now because otherwise there just looks too messy for me. So I'm quite liking this already. What's this? About moving layers above and below just to see what works. I'm not too sure on that one. Let's take some of it away. And then bring it down a layer. Maybe some. Yeah, that's nice. Then you've got. The evil lap down here. I think I'll bring some more of that nice audio effect. Somewhere over here. Yeah. I'm not sure on the colour there, a bit dark, so Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's going a bit wacky now. Colourise it? No. Let's see if we can play with the layer. Take some of it away. Ah, leave it. Take it out. So, going back to using a model or female, just a nice sort of. So, I really like editorial design and, and fashion. And often they use a lot of sort of imagery going on, like background, but then you've got a nice sort of fashion image on top so that's quite nice so we do that it's totally gone away from autumn i don't think we're doing autumn anymore by the way but that's the way it goes so i like it you don't know what you would come up with if you if there's no brief that's the fun part sometimes so now that's totally not working because of the the color so i like to then make the image mono Bring it down a bit. Quite cool. You can play with her a bit, maybe take some of her out and then a bit of colour half tone, which I'm loving lately. And then see how it works with the layers on top. Let's 
quite nice. And then kind of nearly there now because I didn't want to spend too long on the the whole point of this show and go series is that I don't spend too long on it. It's just to get creativity out and about. And just to quickly show you on my Behance, I try and keep up, well, I do keep updated, updating the projects on here. So you can go back, go to Behance, Jonathan Quinton, and then you can look at all my projects I've done over the years. Um, and I update like latest projects with my Cinema 4D work and my poster work. So I'm po obviously month 11, 2009. And you can see my latest style is the same sort of style we've been working on today. So what would be cause to for you to reply to me or, or add me on your story, tag me on your story, and I'll share share your um, design um, in response to this. So I'm going to call this um, uh, <laughs> uh, so I call uh, uh, we call it um, wasn't supposed to be just need to check well twice just need to check the grammar there whether it wasn't it wasn't supposed to oh, dear. it wasn't supposed to be this way it's quite a cool title because it wasn't. And then maybe that's not really jumping out, so then we make that into the blue text again. It's quite cool. And then maybe duplicate, see this is all just current and then playing. Duplicate that. Let's think, find another sort of beefy font. Oh, what's that? Ministry. More one. That's quite cool. And then play with the colours again. That's like I like that. It wasn't supposed to be this way. And that's the poster for today. I hope you liked it. Do give um do give me a like and share to anyone that you know that might like my style. Um, I really do appreciate it, and um, I really appreciate the feedback I get daily from everyone. Um, just keeps me going and creating more work. Uh, if you did like this video, want me to do more of these, then uh, do comment on my Instagram. This will be going up within the next hour or so. Um, so yeah, do um, give me a, a like and follow on my YouTube and also on Instagram, and uh, I'll do another one soon. Thanks a lot.